Hi, my name is Nick. Welcome to my very first video. And uh, it's the very first vlog talking about my E63 AMG car, which I have been driving for now two years. Um, you will have noticed that I have all, on the whole created seven different vlogs about my E63 car. And for each of these videos, I try to do something different from one to another. And so forgive me, those videos are far from being perfect. Um, I know sometimes the video is shaky, um, or the sound is not brilliant, brilliant. It's something I'm learning to improve, and I hope in future it will get better and better. Um, what I'm intending to do is to give you the best um, experience where you can really truly appreciate what the car is all about, and why it's actually so special to me. Um, it's an E63 AMG fitted with a performance pack, it's fitted with um, a rear locking differential, it's also got the rear blinds, um, it's got the special steering wheel, um, which has got Akanta leather, which is fantastic to hold on to. Um, it's also fitted with many other uh, things to um, enhance the, the driving experience, and it's fitted in with the, the rear um, TV screens at the back of my front seat and the passenger front seat. Um, and it's a car I have wanted for a long time. Um, originally, I would have thought of getting a C63 AMG, but um, being married and with my wife and having two kids, the C63 is a little bit too small. Um, and I'm also quite a big guy, so I wanted a car that was a little bit more uh, spacious, comfortable, and the rear seats are uh, plenty of space for um, our children and I've got two uh, children car seats in the back. The boot is massive. Um, the side of the car is very comfortable and the E63 is a little bit heavier than the C63 but at the same time it delivers a little bit more power. It's also more planted um, and it's got a lot more uh, configurations you can play with. Um, than the 63 uh, AMG, but this is a car I wanted for uh, quite a while. Um, just giving you a little bit of a background is um, my very first Mercedes car was a C-Class W204, a fantastic car, really enjoyed it, loved the shape of it, and it was a C220 CDI, so it was a diesel, and I went for a slightly bigger engine, the V6 350 CDI, which was a brilliant, brilliant engine. Um, and again, it was just a fantastic uh, car and it got me into wanting to stay with Mercedes and I'm still with Mercedes because I think there's something that Mercedes do, they provide a car that is um, comfortable and it gives you a better quality uh, driving experience from A to B and also anything that Mercedes do is logical and it's, it's just absolutely fantastic. Then I had um, an E350 CDI which was a little bit of a bigger car, um, a bit more power again because the C350 CDI was fitted with um, a 231 PS. The 350 CDI that I had um, with the E-Class it was 265 uh, brake horsepower so I could feel the difference. The car was a little bit heavier but uh, comfort-wise, um, you could match um, the E-Class e in my view. The C-Class was slightly uh, smaller, but, you know, different cars, um, the C-Class, a brilliant car. And so my dream car for a long while was a C63, but having two children, the E-Class was definitely the better option. Um, what happened also is, um, back a few years ago, my wife, who was uh, heavily pregnant with our first baby, um, offered me uh, a surprise uh, package for um, to drive an AMG car in Brooklands on my birthday. So that was me, uh, a real eye-opener. Um, I've heard a lot about E63, C63, I check on the YouTube, but until you drive one, you then see why people make so much fuss about the AMG brand. Um, it's such an amazing uh, engine, what they do is they give you the experience about the driving experience, the sound experience, 
and truly it's a luxurious car and it's just astounding the car can go really fast and it's got some powerful brakes to slow the car down and that kind of um, got me so in love that I wanted um, to have an AMG car and when I got one um, I was doing some research and I wanted an E63 the 6.3 litre or 6.2 litre which is the same in my view but um, rather than the 5.5 because a lot of people say if you really want to drive an AMG car start with a 6.2 litre then you can move to the other generations um, the 5.5 litre or uh, the new one now which is the 4 uh, litre engine obviously the consumption is a lot better it's improving but the sound is not what the 6.2 litre remarkably delivers and that is in my view um, the sound is just astounding I have hearing aids I can't hear very well without them and in my opinion the 6.2 litre is giving me such a wow satisfaction uh, that no other car can deliver um, every time I drive in my car it's just a unique experience, I can't help it, I just want to hear the engine. Um, I'm not sure I'll be prepared to drive an um, electric car like a Tesla yet, because for me, driving a car with no sound of the engine is completely missing the point. Maybe that will change when I get older, but in my experience and my belief, a car has to sound. It has to have a sound. Um, it's part of a unique package and I think AMG has got it spot on. Um, the 6.3 litre will remain um, one of the breeds and it's highly respected. The E63 has such a great presence on the road. Um, you know, it's also a proper muscle car delivering 525 brake horsepower um, and enormous amount of torque, which is amazing. Um, forgive me, that was my phone, I've uh, got a message, but um, over now, it's just astounding. And it is also a proper wolf in a clothing ship. Um, you know, people assume it's a normal E-Class until you see the 6.3 AMG badges on the side of a car. Or if you are uh, an AMG fan, you will recognize the LED lights at the front are very different to the normal E-Class. And obviously the back, it's got the E63 logo with AMG and um, the, the four chrome exhaust and that is what makes the car quite unique. And the bonnet um, is quite similar to normal e-glass but the front bumper is slightly different, different shape, looks quite square and aggressive and in my opinion it has that edge uh, sportiness that I'm not quite sure, uh, although I do really like the new E63 uh, 4 litre, the E63S, which remarkably delivers 3.4 seconds from 0 to 60 mph. That is astounding as a saloon car, it's amazing, but it's too rounded, and that's my only uh, critique about this new car. Um, whereas this new E63, this is this E63 is very sporty, very square, and looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, but I hope in my future vlogs um, you will enjoy um, what I'm trying to achieve when I every time I have video of the car, and I will do <coughs> some new videos talking about the car performance, talking about the fuel consumption, talking about um, the, uh, the 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 tires. Um, which, you know, they are, um, the amount of power this car delivers, you have to get them changed quite a few, uh, quite often. The rear tires is three to four, every three to four months, um, you need a new set of tires. Uh, for me, anyway, um, I don't know about other AMG drivers, but it definitely is uh, the case. The front tires will last slightly longer. Um, but yeah, this is all about it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this very first vlog. Um, there will be more vlogs in the future, and if you enjoyed my first vlog, please don't forget to click.
click on like and to subscribe for more. Thank you and I look forward to um, joining me in my future blogs. Bye-bye.